Good morning everybody and welcome back to a new vlog. Today, Larry and I are having a really casual day at home. I know I say that in so many videos, but we're just kind of chilling. Today's Saturday and I do have a very large pile of clothes on the floor. <laughs> let me show you and let me explain. So, um, here they are in their glory. And what that is, is a thrift store haul. So Larry and I recently went thrifting together and I couldn't help myself. I found so many amazing fall staples and pieces that I was like, you're gonna upgrade my closet just a little bit. And Larry did pick up a few things. So I would describe myself as a professional thrifter when it comes to clothes. And Larry is your professional thrifter when it comes to CDs, books, jerseys, and movies. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. I did put a poll up on Instagram if you guys like, I wasn't sure if I should film it in a vlog or if you guys wanted me to do an IGTV story, you guys voted for a vlog. So that's what I'm here to do. And Larry also filmed a haul with Bruce while he was here and that is over on Larry's channel. So they went thrifting also on a different date and got like tons of guy stuff, really cool stuff. Well, I guess it's girl stuff too. I shouldn't say guy stuff. Very sports related, history. Yeah, that's not guy stuff. Girls love sports. I love sports. I played sports. So yeah, I'll link that down below for you guys to check out as well. But let's get into this. I was gonna try everything on and I'm like, we're gonna be here all day if I try everything on and I just can't be bothered to do it. So I have it here to show. With that being said, let's hop into the thrift haul. First thing I thrifted is this top, which I posted on my Instagram and you guys are loving it. And it's just a lace long sleeve which I tucked into high-waisted jeans that are from Target. And then I just kind of wore like um, a bralette underneath of it and it worked out. It's a little risque for me, uh, but I love it. And it's kind of like witchy season, fall season, and I totally vibed with it, so I wore it. And I'm very proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone, because you guys know I love sweatpants, leggings and an oversized crew neck which is totally fine too so either way this is the first item and it's a crew neck that has lace stitching near the shoulder and look at how cute okay so normally don't go for stripes but it reminded me of fall so much i mean honestly you could do spring as well with it but i loved the gold and the green and the pink and the black it's just it's just super cool. So this with leggings or actually with these jeans, if you just kind of like tucked it in in the front just a little bit with these jeans would be super cute. This is the brand So, which I believe is from Kohl's. And this sweater, all sweaters at the thrift store are $3.98. So this sweater originally was probably 20 something dollars. I got it for $3.98. That's why you go thrifting. Let me know if you guys like the thrift. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see. This next shirt screams fall. It is so cute and delicate. So it's like a, a brown. It's coming off more red, but it's like um, a rusty color. And it's a crop top. So, but it's cinched at the bottom with a drawstring. I just think it's super cute. And I'm very excited to wear it. Next, we have an item from Victoria's Secret. You heard me right. Victoria's Secret. Oh, that brand was No Boundaries, which I think is, is it Walmart brand? I believe it might be. This is Victoria's Secret. I think it's meant to be a pajama top, but you can wear it either as a pajama top or like um, a flannel. It doesn't matter. It's a thinner material, which works out nice here in Florida. It's black, white, and pink. It has a little pocket, which says secret on it. There is the Victoria's Secret logo. Never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store. Uh, the next item is a turtleneck, which I don't have one. This is a sweater turtleneck. It's a white sweater. The tag has been cut out, so I have no, oh wait, I lied. It's from Croft and Barrow, a size medium. This is a store that I don't ever go into, but I thought it was cute. It's just a simple, elegant white sweater that'll look cute with a lot of things. Next we have, a button up or like a jean button up but this is a little bit different because it has tiny little white polka dots 
I think it may have shrunk a little bit when I washed it, which is slightly disappointing, but we'll see. And I'm gonna give it a try. I liked the white polka dots. I think it softened it up. Got another really, oh, the brand. Never heard of the brand. C Sona Denim Collection. I got another basic white crew neck. I like this because the neck was tighter and the neck looked a little bit higher. So pick that up. This is the one where it was cut out. There's no tag in it. But I think honestly, it's just Hanes. I think it's just a basic crew neck sweater. Next, we have Disney. It's a crop top and it says the one and only with Mickey Mouse on it. It's long sleeved, cut to be cropped. Again, just really cute. Ooh, this one I'm really happy about and it was a little bit longer. It's by the brand Passport. It's a medium. Look at the colors on this flannel. Like I love the teal, brown, peachy tones. It just screamed fall to me. Oh God, praying that it fits. I think it's gonna be snug. It's a weird material. Oh, it's snug. Oh no, no. <laughs> I mean, we can make this work. I'll have a tank. Oh yeah, no, this is cool. We got this. I'll wear, I know what to do. I'll wear a tank top with it and then just throw this over it with high-waisted jeans. I love the length of it though. Like, that's pretty cool. Now, I am a big cardigan shopper. I love all sorts of cardigans, grandpa cardigans, grandma cardigans. If it looks like an 80 year old will wear it, I'll probably buy it. That's just how I am and I'm all right with that. So this is the cardigan. How cool is it? So it's black with like this really pretty aqua blue. It's not showing up as bright in real life or on camera. And then it has like this bronze detail running through it. That's definitely more accurate of what it looks like. Um, oversized, so again, with like black jeans and like a teal tank top tucked into high-waisted jeans with this over top. It's just gonna look so cute and cozy. This is by the brand Permit, and it's a medium. I can, it's definitely like a man's sweater because it's quite chunky and quite large, but I had to get it. I am a sucker for those types of cardigans. Next, now this sweater, I almost put it back because it's out there, it's different, but it kind of has that intense Gucci vibe. Don't quote me, I could be totally wrong. If you guys are fashionistas, you're like, no. Um, but that's what it reminded me of. It, It's intense and I really liked it. And it's this. It has a high neck to it and it's a long sleeve. It's a crew neck sweater. But it has like these leathery bits and little diamond, obviously fake diamond. This one keeps flipping, but that's all right. And then it has like a leathery, like different leather textures basically. And I thought, wow, this would be so cool if I wore it with ripped black jeans and black boots. The next item is a traditional item and it's a Columbia jacket. Like this fleece, these are expensive and I was really excited when I got it. It is an extra large so I picked it up for my mom and I know that she's gonna love it. She used to buy those things for me all the time when I was a teenager and I used to get so excited when I got a new one so <laughs> I bought my mom one. And then the other thing that I got for my mom is this really comfortable oversized fuzzy fleece with tortoise shell buttons and it has pockets up top but this also screamed my mom. It's just, it, we're coming into the fall winter season here in Florida, it's still 90 degrees, don't get me wrong but we're getting into our colder season where it's nice to just throw on a jacket and walk out the door. So picked up that. Now, this one is for Larry. I grabbed it and I was so excited about it. It looks brand new. So it's this zip up, it's Batman. Super cool, like it's just casual Batman. It's not Batman written all over it. It's just, it's perfect for Larry. The hood on the inside is yellow. It's got a nice logo. It's a size large. It was meant to be and if you guys don't know larry is and was a huge batman fan right babe that's right that's right this next one i got really excited for because you know if you've been to walt disney theme parks their clothes are expensive and i found this walt disney mickey 1971 hoodie at the thrift store for three dollars and 98 cents the tag 
is legitimately from Walt Disney World. There it is. It's an extra large. I wanted it for myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I'm gonna try it on just to see how big it is. I mean, we can rock oversized with some leggings, it's fine. But if it's just way too big, I might give it to my mom or Larry for whoever wants it. But let's just try this on for the sake of taking a peek because although it does say extra large, to me, it really doesn't look like an extra large. So, yeah, I forgot I was wearing lipstick. Did I just get it all over my chin? Don't know. Okay, let's see. It's kind of big, but not bad. Ow, oh, my knee cracked. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. I mean, I don't think it looks that bad. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. We can totally make this work. Yes. I also found a pair of light blue denim wash jeans from Hollister, so I'll have to grab those and show you guys. But, ow. This is a win. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna wear it. I love it. And then the last thing that I have that's clothing wise is a jacket that Larry found. It's, it's pretty cool. I really liked it. It's a jean jacket but it has like this army green soft sleeve. It's thick, it's like definitely a winter coat. Um, which you don't need much here in Florida, like maybe for a week, but you never know. We're going out of state, you know, you just don't know. We visit winter places. So this is what it looks like, super cool. So that is what we picked up clothing wise at the thrift store. Now, what I look for, for me personally, for my style, so it's all gonna depend on your style, really, but I looked for classic sweaters. Um, brands, I do look for brands. Like, I have a system. When I, when, I, when I am set in my aisle and I am swiping, I'm swiping, I'm going through the clothes very quickly and I'm going through every single one and I just know based on my style. I'll pull it out, I'll look at it, I'm like ooh I don't know about this and then I'll put it back but if I'm like yeah that's my that's my speed I'm taking it putting it in my cart but just look for things that resonate with you like I love looking at the Disney stuff so when I find a Disney find even though that wasn't my size I'm grabbing it because it's Walt Disney and I can make it work oversized is in and it was great this also I looked at it it's not something that I would usually buy in stores because number one, it would probably be quite expensive, but in a thrift store for $3.98, why not? Now, let me take you guys to the bedroom so I can show you guys that pair of jeans that I found that were Hollister. And they are high rise, which is nice. Jeans are hard to find in a thrift store. If you do find them, they're usually low rise, like super low rise, and I'm, I'm not really into low rise anymore, but. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the jogger pants that I found. Okay, so here are the jeans. Love them. And then here are a few jogger pants that I got. This is the first pair. They are cuffed at the bottom. They're like a washed gray with white going through them and black. I got these leggings I've been working out like every day in the morning at home so I picked up some leggings they are a large they're probably going to be too big for me which is okay because then I can just give them to my mom and she will love them oh these again red joggers cinched at the bottom or cuffed at the bottom they have these little stripes on one of the legs not both of them but one of them can't go wrong with jogger sweatpants plus you can just tuck it into a nice shirt and you can actually make it look fashiony and not cozy and loungy you can do both with it and then i got these which are so soft and chunky they're just sweatpants with pockets and they're maroon colored cuffed at the bottom uh, again, I'll probably lounge in these around home or I can put a t-shirt on make them high-waisted make them look cute and pair them with chunky Tennis shoes and then this I also got and I was very excited about it. I washed it It's um, like one of those one-piece leotard thingy majiggies. It's a high neck and It goes really well with high-waisted black jeans or any kind of jeans, but I could not fit in it. It's a medium but and I think it's Walmart brand, but man, I could not fit into that thing. My boobs were busting out. It was just not a good look. <sighs> hey, hi, babe. Hi, babe. And then we've got little Luna over there snoozing away. Such cuties.
Not really sure where Lexi is. I think she's on her chair. Is she? She's on her chair. Yep, there she is. So yeah, that's everything that I picked out at the thrift store. And then Larry, do you want to show them a couple of things that you got? I did get some books. Larry got some books. Mr. Excitement. You are exciting. Books are exciting. People love books. I love books. My arm burns already. <laughs> First one is unusual and often overlooked facts about America's Civil War, Civil War trivia, and fact book. That's a cool book. That was the first one. And the second one that I found was by David McCullough. 1776. Very interesting. All about the revolution. We're a good team because see Larry reads those books and then he educates me and tells me all about them. And then we got some CDs too, but I already put those away. Yeah, we've been on a Christmas thing. Very strange. I have been loving listening to Christmas music at night as I fall asleep. I know, it's it's literally September, almost October. I think it might be October by the time you guys see this, or maybe just getting ready to be, but. I found this one for the mink. Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Man. Come on over. Come on over. I'm not sure what store sold this, but it's unopened. It's, it's um, packaged, sealed. $12.88 at the store. We got it for the low, low price of $1.18. It's the way to go. All right, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I will be back to check in. Okay, so Larry and I got all the clothes hung up and put away. And now I'm just kind of cleaning our foyer area because I have that habit of wearing shoes and then just dropping them at the front door instead of putting them back in the closet, which I mean, most people do drop their shoes at the front door, but it honestly looks so much nicer and neater when there's not a bunch of shoes underneath the hall tree and by the front door. So currently working on getting all of those put away. <gasps> I didn't get to update you guys. Okay, so the last you guys heard about my grandma's clock was the guy wasn't there. So Larry and I went up there the day that we did the thrift store haul and all of that. He was up there and we're getting it fixed, which makes me so happy. And we should get it in about a week. We had to order a part. There was a part that was missing. It broke. Yeah, it broke and it just wasn't anywhere in the clock. So, Larry and I are headed into the kitchen to tidy up in here. We gotta eat a handful of almonds in the, in the meantime. Oh! Completed my two weeks of healthy eating and exercise. So I do 45 minutes of cardio daily and 50 squats daily with one rest day. And that went on for two weeks. And by the time you guys see this, I'll be on my way to phase three, which is 30 to 45 minutes of cardio daily and 100 squats. 100 squats, I'm still getting used to 50 squats. My legs still burn with 50 squats. But, and then I've just been kind of watching my eating, not restricting my eating, watching my eating. So uh, examples, um, for dinner, I usually have a really big salad. And when I mean big salad, I mean a big salad. It's a big one. It's a big one. And I just load it with toppings, green pepper, red onion, capers, hot peppers. And then I have a protein, whether that's grilled chicken or last night I grilled up some, well, no, I sauteed it, I didn't grill it. Some little shrimpies. Um, and then lunch is usually brown rice and veggies and a protein and then breakfast is can be anywhere from a green smoothie to eggs, um, whatever I'm feeling at that time. And then like, if I want to snack on something, I'll snack on fruit, I'll snack on nuts, just um, celery and peanut butter, but the healthy peanut butter, no sugar added peanut butter. That's pretty much what I've been doing, which, and the goal is to do it for a month. I mean, this is, this is more so to get you used to it. But I mean, in all actuality, it would be nice to eat like that and be consistent with cardio and those kind of things. So it's not something that I want to get rid of after a month. In fact, I was just saying, and I had told you guys over on Instagram, but I'll tell you here in case you don't have Instagram or you're not following over on Instagram, but the two week mark is the hardest mark for me to get to. I always usually slip up just before, during the two week or just after. I have never held on to a I, I hate calling it a diet. I do not want to call it a diet, but a healthy lifestyle. We're going to call it that. Um, I always slip up and I've never made it to a healthy lifestyle for a month. And that is the goal. I want to do that. I want to continue to do that. 
and I honestly feel better, so that's good. Oh, did find out that I'm, I'm vitamin D deficient as well. So I'm on, um, found that out through actually the pregnancy blood work and testing. Found that out yesterday, so they had me on vitamin D, which is common, it's a common thing, but that could explain why I'm always tired. <laughs> so, but that's nice to find out. Right, babe? Good to know. Good to know. This is good. That's good. From Publix, it's the honey mustard protein, honey mustard glazed almonds, cashews, pecan pieces, pa pa pepitas, which is um. What she said. Pumpkin seeds, and then peanuts and dried edamame, which I'm excited for pumpkin carving. Ah! You remember we did that last year? I remember. Larry is the best pumpkin carver. I'm just average. He carved Minx into a pumpkin. Was it Mindy Minx? Or did you do Minx? I think it was just Minx. Well anyways, you guys try and carve an X with a pumpkin. And then he did it really cool so the light was showing through. Uh oh. I'll put the coffee mugs over here and I'll let you distribute them accordingly. Okay. put away most of the dishes and then I'm gonna show you guys what he does with the coffee mugs. It's the cutest thing. I don't blame him. I totally understand why he does it. I'll show you. Once the coffee mugs are washed, Larry will lay them here by my coffee maker because he's terrified of putting them away in this. Cue the scary music. <laughs> Whatever that horror music is. Um, yeah, I went through this cabinet that that long ago and then up there I have a lot of my Christmas holiday mugs and um yeah there's just a lot going on in here so I then come in and do this and I know you guys are probably like wow you should really donate some mugs or something and I just love each of them they're like mugs is my thing they're a thing for me so I don't know yeah <gasps> Did you see what just almost happened? They probably didn't. <laughs> that looks terrible. <laughs> oh my God. We need to do something. <laughs> we, me. Couple of other things that I, why does that look so weird? I stocked up on at the store the other day when I should have been filming that I wasn't, was my favorite coffee, which, oh, here they are, is the Starbucks Graham Coffee. The only place that I can ever find it is at Walmart. So I got three boxes of it. It's my favorite coffee of all time. Time to do these dishes. If you guys have dishes, you know what I say every time I do dishes. If you have dishes, pause this video, do your dishes, or if you just wanna chill and watch this video, then chill and watch this video, and then do your dishes after. So, yeah, Larry picked out our movie for family night. I think I'm gonna vlog family day tomorrow, but Larry picked out this movie at the thrift store, Amityville Horror, and I've heard it's terrifying. As I've said in a recent video, we're finally, well, I'm finally getting involved in watching scary movies. Again, I like more of, what is it called? Like more paranormal videos or movies. I do not like gory videos. Is that gory or more paranormal? Paranormal. Yeah, I love, I love yeah. me. Paranormal to me can actually happen, you know, kind of. And, and this was on sale, so we got this to watch any night. Yeah, I still haven't seen that. Not that gory stuff can't happen, but I just enjoy paranormal movies more. Ew. Mr. Rogers is from Pittsburgh. We were just there and saw a very large exhibit at the History Museum on Mr. Rogers and a lot of his set pieces and things that he used in his production of um, It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Is that what his show was called or was it the Mr. Rogers show? I think, I don't know. I think that was the Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers, maybe, I don't know. But I know it, that was his theme song. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Do -do 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 -do. Yay! Hi. 
I do not. <laughs> the cats are both in here. They get fed their dinner at five o'clock. It's two o'clock and they're both in here because once they see Larry and I in here, they think, oh, we're getting fed. No kitties, not yet. Not yet. Kitchen is officially cleaned. Debating no. Well, it is two o'clock. I could have another coffee. What you looking at, babe? Oh, another disc CD. Yeah, it's the same one from yesterday. Ah, I want to show you guys. I'm coming into the bedroom because I want to show you guys a couple of the earrings that I picked up from Target, including these, which are so darling. They're um, little bows, but they're pearl kind of. They're by the brand Sugar Fix at Target. They look like this. This is one pack that I got, which I thought, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then uh, this pack, for example, is $14.99. And then these that I'm wearing at the moment were $12.99. And then I also got them in just regular gold, like gold bows. Looks like twisted metal, and these were $9.99. So... I don't know, figured I would upgrade the, the old earring game. I haven't bought myself a pair of earrings in a bit, so they are only $12.99, so it's allowed. <laughs> Even if I wanted to spend $89 on a pair of earrings, that's allowed too. Okay. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Anyways, we know the mail truck is near, so we're just waiting for him to arrive to see what's in there. <gasps> They're coming! Okay. Let's see, is it regular mail? Is it a package? What are we gonna get? Oh, we got a package. Yes, she's putting it in a park. Oh, she's coming. Oh, a box. It's my Ulta order. It's coming. I feel like such a stalker. I hear her. Oh, there she goes. She doesn't have a ring the doorbell, but that's okay. I wish she would though, because sometimes the stuff sits out in the heat and I don't know what's here. But anyways, moral of the story, package is here, safely delivered. Is she leaving? Yes, she is on her way. Yay, I can show you guys what I ordered. I did share with you what I ordered um, on Instagram. I screenshotted my exact order so you guys could order the same thing on that day because they were having a huge sale uh, benefit a lot of the products that I like from there were 50% off. So the cookie highlight that I rant and rave about all the time, the hula bronzer, those were 50% off. Normally they're like 30 something dollars and they were on sale for 15. So that's when you get them. So again, if you're not following us on Instagram, you definitely should. And I was listening to this CD, so I didn't get a chance to put it away. So I'll show you. This is the Drifters Greatest Hits. We officially have our Ulta package in hand, so I'm gonna unbox it, show you guys what I picked up. I'm so excited! I think I got a new product in here as well that I have not yet tried, but it was the perfect time to try it as everything was half off. So, I hope everything came in one shipment. <gasps> it did. Awesome. All right, so number one, Clinique. And this is the Moisture Surge by Clinique, which is my absolute favorite. 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. I use this at nighttime. It's amazing, you wake up with like brand new skin. Incredible. I've never had this packaging before, the floral. I usually just get the basic package, but this is perfect because it's smaller. This isn't like their full size, so this is great for travel. So got that. Oh, I got two of them. Yay, okay, so that is taken care of. The next thing from Benefit I got was this Dandelion. Um, is this a blush? I think I got the blush. So there was the option for blush or highlight. Yeah, I got the blush, which is just a super soft pink and I've never tried it. So that was the one product from Benefit that I haven't tried that I ordered to try. And then the other one is Hula by Benefit and then Cookie, which you guys know I use literally in every single makeup video I have ever done. These two are a must. So let me show you guys what the Cookie looks like. It's just the perfect champagne color. It's hard to see in the box, but beautiful. And then the Hula bronzer is just a matte brown 
bronzer that you can also use as an eyeshadow. So those are the things that I had ordered from Ulta. Small order, but very beneficial order because again, 50% off. So I have already changed into cozy clothes. Again, you guys know I don't last long in regular people clothes. <laughs> I love cozy attire, so I've just changed. I got these at Walmart. They are so cute little joggers. They're coffee cups and I love them. But with that being said, I am going to end this video here. That way I can start getting ready to edit it and I want to have a nice cozy evening with Larry and come on Nexies. Make Nexie. And we are going to be filming tomorrow, which is going to be family day and um yeah. I don't really know what else is plans, but all I know is I'll be filming family day if all goes well. There's always something going on. Yeah, there's always something going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when we upload. <laughs> and we will see you guys again very soon. Bye. Bye. Hope it's working. Think it is? <laughs> Why does this look so weird? <laughs> Why am I so white and you're so tan? I was out in the sun yesterday. Oh, that's true too. Ready? Ready. And it's also just gonna shift, shift, shift. shift. Your have... hair gets so long, and my hair says so long. So long. Larry's hair is gone. Ta da! Why does it look so dark? I'm not always in focus on this camera. I don't know. Good more. Oh, rocking in the wrong spot. See, we are a good team. Team. Where my arm seriously burning from holding this camera. We, we only going to a mile to space, out of space, light it up. Why does it look so dark? So dark. <laughs>